Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on this uh, reset button for audio options. Actually, this is something I should have covered before I get started with the controls, but I forgot that and someone in the comments <laughs> reminded me about that. Thank you very much for that. So yeah, here we are going to work on the reset button. See, now I can change and press reset. The settings are back on back to zero, 100. So that's what we are going to work on today and before we get started let me quickly remind you that here is the full playlist everything is implemented from scratch and explained so you can follow these episodes and implement everything by yourself and here is the uh, in my patreon page you can download the project files so right let's quickly get into today's reset episode okay so this is what I have right now in the audio settings I have this I can change the values and and I can use apply button to save but I forgot to implement the reset button yet so that's what we are going to do here so let's quickly implement that widgets audio options go here and here we already have this sound configs which points to this uh, data table which contains all the sound settings for each different sound class and here i have this default volume so right now it's set to one so i'm going to use that and we already have a function reset options which comes from this parent options panel let's override that here and get sound configs get row names and for each for each for the table no and then we can access the name and again from the table this one get data table row using the name and if the row found here let's break this to sound class data and here we can access the default volume and also here we have this volume sliders map which is which already contains a reference to the slider and we use the name same as the sound configs data table row name so we can use the name here to find the corresponding slider widget so get okay, this find using the name uh, actually name is not that this is the name and here if row found also here let's use this boolean and if that is true set value we have a get value don't we have a set value for the slider let's check don't remember that update slider okay that's the one I should have used a name similar to set or something to come automatically and put the default value. Okay. And that should change this. Let's see. You reset. Okay.
Later. Yeah, it's okay. So as for the audio device, I don't really want to reset that because that should point to whatever the active device that we have right now, maybe changing it. I'm not sure how to reset that right now. So I'm going to leave that. So yeah, reset is working. And one more thing is here, this is this. So even if I reset, even though changes applied right now, but if I stop and come back, they are not saved. So if I want to save them, reset and press apply, then only things will be saved. So if I come back, things are saved and loaded properly. Maybe we should implement if I make any change and if I try to go back without pressing apply, we should get some window something similar to this do you want to save the settings so something like that uh, but i don't want to cover that here because i want to cover it all together because that might re be required for all the graphic settings and audio and all other kinds of settings as well so we will look into that separately so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download here in the Patreon page, link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in another episode. Goodbye.